I'm John Muller. And I'm Tamsin Fidel. Well, as disturbing as that story is, we've heard some that are even worse. It is hard to come up with an exact number, but we know there are several mentally ill homeless people living on the streets of New York. Tonight, PIX 11's Jay Dow joins us live with a closer look at this serious problem. Hi there, Jay. Hi, Tams. And New York City Homeless Services officials say they have a myriad of services in play now to reach out to the homeless population, especially those with mental health issues, going to the places where they are, libraries, hospitals, in addition to keeping a running comprehensive list of the street homeless so that they can extend those services to them. But the aunt and nephew at the heart of this case, they did not have those services. For residents of Manhattan's Upper East Side, there was apparently a time when random encounters with 65-year-old Hilda Del Valle Barrio Nuevo were quirky and uneventful. But if you actually speak to her and you say hello, she's very friendly and very nice. But those run-ins eventually turned hostile, threatening, and dangerous. Yeah. Police said she was spitting on a child. She was, yeah. I heard. That's not right. Police arrested the homeless woman described by many here as the mentally ill homeless spitter early Thursday morning for allegedly spitting on a seven-year-old boy on three separate occasions since last June. The woman's nephew, 44-year-old Gabriel Uno, also homeless, was arrested for throwing part of a table at a man. Residents say the pair often camped out on East 78th Street, where their shopping cart still sits full of their belongings. This case, as good as any, an opportunity to explore just how New York City handles mental health issues among the exploding homeless population. Take care of them a little bit more, you know, because these people, they're not working and they're homeless and, you know. They need, they need more care. Councilman Ben Callos grew up in and now represents this neighborhood. I'm really grateful that residents of the community have finally stepped forward and been willing to uh, make a complaint with the police. A spokesperson for New York City Department of Homeless Services, run by embattled Commissioner Stephen Banks, sent PIX11 a lengthy explanation of its revamped approach to mental health issues under Mayor Bill de Blasio's new plan to address the homeless crisis. Quote, street homeless New Yorkers are among our most uniquely challenging populations to engage with higher rates of mental health and substance use disorders, which is why we have outreach teams out 24 7, proactively and aggressively identifying and working with these New Yorkers to encourage them to accept services and treatment and ultimately transition off the streets. DHS officials say it can take anywhere from a dozen to more than 200 interactions with street homeless to ultimately bring them to shelter. Adding, with a now expanded crisis outreach unit, the agency last year successfully helped take almost 700 homeless New Yorkers off the streets. But in the case of Ms. Del Valle Barria Nuevo and others like hers, there is often a disconnect between policy goals and policy implementation. And you've lived Thank here you for five years on this block. Let me ask you this. Did you ever see anyone from the city come out and I try to not. deal with her or no. help her? No. No, nothing like that. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on her on the subways. Basically, the whole city knows about her, okay? And she obviously has mental illness. Mental health outreach will now take a backseat to the criminal justice system. The woman dubbed the homeless spitter and her nephew now face several criminal charges, including criminal possession of a weapon, stalking, and endangering the welfare of a child. We're live on the Upper East Side tonight. Jay Dow, PIX11 News. Thank you.